Hey everybody, Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com here with the legendary John Lane of Pilot Pen Corporation of America. Uh, John is basically the guy who helps us uh, figure out what's going on with Pilot Fine Writing in the US. Correct. Right? And uh, you've been doing it for how many decades now? Uh, I just hit 31 years with Pilot. Wow. And the fine pens have been here since 1994 and I went to work doing that exclusively in 1997. Nice. Yeah. So you got a few years under your belt. Yes, thank you for reminding me of that. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like it's part of my job every time you come here, John. <laughs> but anyway, John absolutely loves it when he gets recognized in public for doing all these videos. So when he came this time, he said, let's make sure to get on video again. Yes, I no, feel, sometimes just... I feel like that my pillow guy. Hey, you're that guy. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm the my pen guy. That's right. <laughs> but to be fair, you are the guy who always has some really cool pens to look at. So you're going to draw some attention when you do some of these events. That's true. Um, and whenever you come here, you always bring us some fun little toys. And uh, you have something uh, for us here today, which, um, you know, last time you were here, we talked about the Seven Gods of Good Fortune mm -hmm. set, which is the Namiki Pilot 100th Anniversary um, pen set. And we had that huge elaborate box mm -hmm. and everything. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check that one out. But um, now the pens are coming separate, so it's not in the elaborate packaging and everything, but you can get the pens themselves. Right. And uh, we wanted to feature those a little bit because, um, you know, the anniversary kind of thing is still rolling with Pilot. And uh, the pens are a little bit different, and we have this new box, too, that these uh, come in uh, for the set. So I wanted to talk through those a little bit. Um, so one difference that you'll see with the pens versus what came in the set, the set, they were all ring tops, right. which is kind of kind of unique. They don't really do that much, um, at least that's not first, anything I've That's seen. the first pilot pen that I've seen with that. I mean, there yeah. probably were some vintage, um, like okay. in the 40s and 50s, but I've, since I've been selling it, I've never seen one like that. There you go. So that was kind of special. Now these are going back to their more conventional right. uh, clips that they had. Um, but these are the same seven gods that were on the pen. Like the designs haven't changed or anything. It's the designs totally are the same. It's the same artist that did the, the box set. And so now what we're doing is there's 150 of each pen made. And as Brian mentioned, it's our 100th anniversary, but it's drawing to an end. And I'm getting the last shipment in uh, sometime this month, I'm getting 10 more sets. But the nice thing is if you don't want all 10 or all seven, if you can't afford them, uh, these are all available individually. Mm -hmm. If you buy them with the set, we give you this nice box. There you go. Uh, and uh, the individual pen, so this is the Yukari uh, format. Yukari size, pen. yes. Yep, um, which is, you know, I guess on the, the smaller end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's your more conventional uh, pen size. We'd rather sell you Emperors, <laughs> but if nothing else, we can sell you one of these, but Emperors are still first. <laughs> That's right. Um, so uh, a little bit about the pens. You know, each one is about a different god of good fortune, and they're all kind of prosperity related, prosperity themed. Uh, we won't go through every single one of these pens on this video, but we wanted to at least call out a couple of them mm -hmm. um, that we think are kind of cool and we have something special to talk about. Um, so which one do you want to talk about first? The Ben, the uh, Benzai, Benzai 10? 10. Okay. This was, yeah. Benzai 10 is the, one of the only goddesses that we're featuring and she was the god of the Indian river goddess and is the only female deity amongst the Japanese seven gods. This was done by the artist Yumi, and it features inlaid abalone shells or rodden, which makes it unique is that there cannot be possibly two pens that are alike. Um, it's got 100 year stamped on the nib, and again, there's only 150 of each individual pen made. That's and worldwide. Worldwide, yeah. and so we're running out of them. Um, I was fortunate enough to be able to get uh, 10 more complete sets um, so you can buy them individually. And the complete sets, these are all going to be numbered with the same number Correct. too, right? So Correct. it's matching sets for that collectability factor. This is number 41, which those of you who know <laughs> Japanese number lore, four <laughs> means die, one means for sure. So I always take this as a sample because nobody wants it. And then when we're all out of them, three months later, someone will call and say, do you have that number? So yes, I do. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. That's so for sure, I, huh? so <laughs> I always get number 41. <laughs> it's a, I don't know what this says about you, John, but you're still around and kicking. So. I know, I know. <laughs> it can't be that, that can't be that terrible for us here. Um, yeah, and then uh, the other one that we had that we wanted to feature, this one is pretty cool, especially because of the artist that makes it. This is uh, made by our master artist, Seike Chida, who 
those of you who've seen some of his work, our Emperor Goldfish is one of the most difficult pens to do, and that's he does that. So he did this particular one. This is the, uh, Jirojin is also known as the Old Man of the South Pole, and said to be the reincarnation of the South Pole star. So you can see there's some pretty intricate stories to these. Brian will have all of this up on his website. So when you're looking at the pens, uh, they'll be there, and there'll be an explanation as to who and who and what they are. Absolutely. And they retail for 4,800 apiece, which is quite reasonable for a limited edition uh, series, especially a anniversary series where only 150 of each were made. Absolutely. And each pen is completely different. The techniques that are used on them are a little bit different per pen. Um, I, you know, I would have to imagine, uh, did, the, did each artist you know, I'm just curious, did they have the ability to design the pen themselves or was it kind of designed by the group and they were just the ones that were actually applying the Production the planning, uh, they plot all of our designs. Uh, I'm sure that the artists have, have um, input into the sure. design as yeah. far as the how intricate the detail can be if they can do it. Um, especially with the different materials that are used. Brian mentioned that there's, there's actually three different types of maquillage. Uh, there's taka maquillage, which is a, which is a uh, raised finish, which is not really on here. Uh, there's a um, um, togadashi maquillage and a hira maquillage, which is um, sort of a painted finish, but then it's all burnished in, in um, mm -hmm. different types of material. And that's a lot of what you're seeing on here is togadashi, right? Right. Um, that's where you have the gold dust and, and various things like that. Correct. Where you get that and then there's Rodden as well mm -hmm. um, a couple of these pens feature Rodden more heavily than others Rodden it seems like we haven't seen a lot of Mach-E pens with Rodden coming out recently so that's the emphasis for the last three years has been making these pens to coincide with pilots anniversary so there was definitely a deadline that yeah. they had to meet so yeah. uh, you're right there's our regular mach production has been very slow there's mm -hmm. one particular pen called the the Nightline Moonlight that I prob <coughs> I've probably not seen one in two and a half years. It just seems yeah. like the Rodden production was most heavily affected. Mm -hmm. uh, those of you who have bought the um, Vanishing Point Galaxy with the with the Rodden finish, mm -hmm. those are now gone. They're gone. Yeah, yeah. and That's things right. are slowly starting to get back to normal, but I don't anticipate regular Machia production really coming back until 2020. Wow. Do you know if they have they made all these at this point, or are they still kind of? I believe the that they. I believe that they made them all. Uh, I will get my final. Um, 10 sets this month, um, I'm pretty sure that they're pretty much finished with it. Okay. And probably taking a long overdue vacation. <laughs> I can imagine after three years of preparing for this. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I mean, how big of a deal is the 100th anniversary to them, right? Like, I mean, it's very it's, ceremonial. It's very It's all about them. It's not our anniversary. Uh, it's Pilot's anniversary in Japan. And mm -hmm. that's why these say Pilot on the, and not Namiki. So whenever there's an anniversary, Pilot as a company is celebrating their anniversary. Okay. And this 100-year anniversary was the biggest thing that I've seen since I went to work for Pilot. I mean, we opened our new corporate headquarters in the Ginza, and uh, it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun promoting these. The box set, and Brian is right. Check out the video that we did, mm -hmm. and that was that box was absolutely amazing. It was unreal. It was a combination of chinkin, which is a carving, and then makie, which is painting, and um, just the entire presentation was pretty phenomenal. Yeah. So is everyone kind of on like anniversary hangover at this point? Like there's so I mean multiple years going into there are Centennial. I think there are probably are some glassy eyed guys in Japan, especially especially <laughs> these maki artists. Uh, you know, Seike Chida being the being the boss, he's probably pretty worn out. Yeah, I imagine. Um, because it's not only Pilot US that gets product from this, Singapore, Europe, all the yeah. subsidiaries. So yeah. I'm sure he's getting phone calls from all the divisions. When are you going back to normal? Right? Yeah. All right, anniversary is done. Let's get yeah, back yeah, to yeah, yeah. back to production here. Yeah. I need my nightline moonlights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh, I can imagine. And then you know, as far as uh, you know, you talk about 150 of each pen. I have to imagine that's not 150 that's like in circulation. I mean, a lot of these are probably given as gifts within the company. Um, yeah. You know, it's coinciding with a changeover of the emperor this year, which is a big deal in right. Japan. Uh, I wonder if any are going to that, or if they're doing special things for that. So. Uh, I can only imagine how many of these are actually in collectors' hands around the world. It can't be that many. I have not seen anybody writing with these. But really? then again, it's, they're in such short quantities. I mean, we've certainly sold all the sets, and we've sold a good number of these sets, mm -hmm. which is why we're offering the box. Um, mm -hmm. But then the individual pens, um, I've not seen anybody writing with them. Yeah. I mean, they're, it's, it's a 100-year anniversary. It's very limited, so 
as much as the artist wants you to write with the pen, so I think some people are being a little prudent in inking them up. I mean, I, I have to imagine a pen this expensive anyway, people already are going to be a little hesitant maybe to want to carry it around and have it as like an everyday pen, but... The I mean, artist, wants you to, artist wants you to write with all the <laughs> pens because they made these pens in order for you to write with them. They're very well balanced. Uh, mm -hmm. Even if you post a cap on here, it's, it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, even the Emperor pens yeah. are very well balanced and you can write with them. I mean, they even have like a little lining of, uh, of some kind of felt or some like soft uh, material right. on the inside of the, you know, where the center band is so that it doesn't scratch the Urushi the lacquer you it. is one of the hardest substances in the world, but yeah, you're right. They wanted to make sure that absolutely nothing would happen to it, so they did yeah. put a little liner around here. So when you do post the cap, it's fine. Yeah. Which that's a very like American thing, I think, is it, you know posting their cap. Oh, most I don't think. I don't know. Do they, they do that in Japan? No, most are, no, usually no, not. Because no. I know in Europe it's not a big thing. No, it's really just kind of an American thing. Interesting. How about that? Well, there you go. So we still have these pens for now, um, but we wanted to at least get a video on this so we can look at it for historical purposes, mm -hmm. so that everybody can see John's smiling face once again. <laughs> more people go, hey, you're that guy. That's right. So you have to go up to him and go, hey, you're the guy from the videos. Yeah, when I get asked when I get asked for my first autograph, that's when you're going to get a nasty call. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. Well, now everybody knows what they need to do next time they see John Great. around. <laughs> That's wonderful. There you go. So you can learn more about these pens on goulaypens.com. We're going to have a lot of detailed information, great pictures, and stuff like that uh, that you can learn more about there. Uh, that's about all we have for right now. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, John, for being here once again. Of course. It's, it's always it's, a pleasure. It's the highlight of my, of my week, Brian. I'm, <laughs> <saying>. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. And even though Likewise. I, I hear we're going to make another one of these in a couple minutes, so it's on another topic. That's so right. I, I just, I, You'll see I more of John soon. I can't wait. I need makeup. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need it. You have a natural glow about you. Thank you, Just Brian. being here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Right on.